13.1 walkthrough spot price ML command line tool. Inside of GitHub, inside of Noah Gift, the, there's a project called Spot Price Machine Learning. And what it does is it goes through and uses some of the techniques we've explored earlier and uses k means clustering to determine an optimal recommendation for a spot price for one of the instances you may have wanted to use but was not available. And by creating a clustered recommendation, it can pick and choose a few other choices for you. This is a really common style to use when you're creating machine learning command line tools is to pick a problem, figure out a way to solve it, and then create a command line tool that will return a result back to you as a user. Let's go and look at the heavy lifting of what this code does. Inside of this PAWS directory, there's a spot price ML folder, and I'm able to actually import pandas, import scikit-learn cluster k-means, also use the same technique with minmax scalar, and also boto3. First, the setup spot instance is set up, and I have some pre-existing spot instance prices, and I'm able to use those to return back a pricing data frame. I'm then able to go through and use the Boto client to describe the spot price history. I then combine all that and then create a new data frame. From that, I'm able to create this cluster function. Inside, I look at the median instance type, the price per ECU. I actually sort the values, then create a numerical data frame, and then use the minmax scalar to normalize the data. And then I do a key means cluster with three clusters, and I fit it. And then I return back the median. At that point, I then am able to take all those values and return back a recommendation for a cluster for a machine learning type. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at how that works on the command line. So if we go through and we look at this project, there's many different components to it. There's data, there's a make file, there's notebooks, there's a library, PAWS, and then there's this tool, spot price ML. If we go through and we run this, we're able to see that there's a few different options for us to explore. One is describe, and this describes a cluster description of prices. So let's go ahead and run that. You can see all of the different prices show up in this window, and they're split up by a spot price, the price of ECU per spot. So I created my own uh, specific column that shows the price and then how many versions of the ECU you have for that price. And then it also shows the cluster assignment. It also then shows the price memory for a spot. What's really great about creating a, a hybrid tool like this is I'm able to both display the entire raw output and also later choose to make a recommendation. So for example, if I typically use a C3 8x large and it's unavailable or the price is not something I'd like to use, I can then choose a, a, a recommendation for a similar type machine. So let's go ahead and run something like that. Here I run spot price ML, recommend instance, and I pass in the instance type I'd like a recommendation for. It goes through, calculates the right cluster, and returns back my result. In this case, I can see that these are very similar instances to my preferred instance, and it shows you the different prices for the ECU spot. So in this case, if I was really concerned about price and I wanted something similar, I would probably pick this C3 2x large, and I could see that its spot price was 10 cents, but it actually had a really good price per ECU uh, ratio, and it was also assigned to the same cluster. It also has very good memory characteristics if you divide it by the spot price. What I'd like to highlight in this example is that there are lots of ways to create useful machine learning tools. One way is to do, use Jupyter Notebook and create a machine learning tool that perhaps you give to your team or to a product manager or your CEO. Another one is to create a machine learning application that fits in with your existing web application or an existing mobile application. And also th there's tools like this where you may be using machine learning to actually 
serve your own machine learning system. So in this case, spot prices are really important for deciding when I should train and what type of machine I should train my machine learning model on. So I'm using meta machine learning. So I'm creating a command line tool that can use machine learning to give me a recommendation that later I use to do machine learning for some task in my company. And this is something that is really a recommended workflow that you should consider is that it's really simple using some of the techniques that are shared in this video to create your own custom machine learning command line tools.